George from GeorgeCo here with another Garmin Catalyst video. In the last video we showed you how to mount the Garmin Catalyst inside the optional cage mount. It's a great solution if you need to tether your Catalyst inside your car and you're looking for a permanent mount solution. Today we're going to explore a, another option. It would be how to get a cable tether on without the cage mount uh, using an off-the-shelf cable system. In our unboxing video we showed you how you could remove this plate on the bottom to get access to the SD card slot that's on the bottom. We're actually going to use this screw right here to mount our tether. So we're going to take our cable tether that we reshaped. We had to shave it down a little bit and bend it to match the contour. Now, if I wasn't having to reach over the camera in order to film this, I would have screwed in this uh, this rubber tether that catches the uh, the cover plate. But you get the idea. So then, with that in place, I can still snap this in. There you go. And see, I just uh, bulging the bottom case just a little bit, um, but I've got a tether, and this is uh, solidly connected. That's not going anywhere. And with the suction mount, we put in this small carabiner. And so we could take a longer cable, and this cable we could wrap around the bar in the car, and then connect it to the mount. So that gets the whatever pound and a half, pound or so, for the suction mount tethered to the car. Now, if we take the unit itself, brace it in the magnet, we can then take this and also tether it. So now I've just got this loop and it's going to safely tether the unit to the base and then the base to the car. Well, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Uh, we'll get in the car here soon, as soon as the weather changes. Uh, as always, uh, helpful comments uh, below. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content and visit us online for Garmin Catalyst and accessories.